Okay, let's give you guys some practice. So work out the volume of this 3D solid from uh, from one from one to infinity. So from one to infinity. So uh, so this is a graph of one over x. Uh, we're going to re revolve it 360. We're going to revolve it 360 along the along the x-axis. So you're going to trace out this this 3D solid. Work out the volume of this 3D solid. So press pause and. Uh, Press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, um, we've seen in the past that if you try and if you try and work out the area of the the flat area, not the three D solid, if you work out the the area from from uh, from one to infinity of one over x uh, dx, we've seen that this diverges. It, it doesn't really converge to to one particular point. But for some reason, when you work out when when you work out the volume. For some reason, it converges. Yes. Well, anyway, to work out this volume here, we we, we need to integrate it from one to um, from one to uh, infinity. But our, our normal routine has always been to um, to integrate it from what from one to an arbitrary point, let's say b, and then later on we allow b to move towards infinity. So so to work out the volume here, instead of integrating from, from one to infinity, we are going to integrate from one to an arbitrary point B and then later on we're going to let B move towards infinity so we are integrating from 1 to B so uh, so to integrate this uh, from 1 to B well this pi here is a constant so take it out that will then give you this and then now integrate this if you integrate this it will then give you this so now put B into here so that will then uh, that will then give you uh, you've got your pi here and then and when when you put b into here, it will be negative one over negative one over b. Put the one into here, so that will become plus one. And then now, so so this is us integrating from one to b. Now allow b to move towards infinity. Now now allow b to move towards infinity. So so this thing here will then become this. The minute you allow b to move towards infinity, you're really integrating from one to infinity as opposed to one to b. So, uh, so the minute you allow b to head towards infinity, this becomes this. And then remember, you've got to take the limit as well. Remember, you're allowing b to head towards infinity. You're allowing b to head towards infinity. So take the limit of this thing as b heads towards infinity. So when you look at this, as b heads towards infinity, this thing here is going to become very, very big. One divided by net by um, by something very, very big. This thing here is going to go towards zero. So uh, so this whole thing here will be uh, will be one. So uh, so this whole block here is one. So one times pi is pi. So uh, so if you if you want to work out this volume here from one all the way to infinity. The volume will be, the volume will be pi. Okay?